ITX IPF presents Simplifying Commodities, Futures, Options and Indices. Today in our segment, we focus on the options trade and understand the premium calculations. Remember, there are two parties to an options contract, buyer and seller. Buyer of options contract has the right to buy or sell an asset to strike prices, while the seller has an obligation. To trade an option, you need to pay premium, as options themselves have no underlying value. An option premium is the current market price of an option contract. It is thus the income received by the seller of an option contract to another party. Components of an option premium include its intrinsic value, which will represent difference between the underlying security price and the strike price of the contract. The time value, which is as the option nears expiration date, will edge closer and closer to zero. And the implied volatility, which is derived from the option price model. Implied volatility affects the extrinsic value portion of the options premium. If investors are long option, an increase in implied volatility would add to the value. This is because greater the volatility of the underlying asset, more chances of the option has of finishing in the money. The opposite is true if the implied volatility decreases. As the price of underlying security changes, the option premium changes. As the underlying security prices increases, the premium of a call option increases, but the premium of put option decreases. As the underlying security price decreases, the premium of a put option increases and the opposite is true for the call option. So if you are buying an option, its premium will generally be greater given more time to expiration and or greater implied volatility. As an option becomes further in the money, the option premium normally increases. MCX IPF presents Simplifying Commodities, Futures, Options and Indices. Brought to you by MCX IPF. 